Here we have filtered out the most shallow earthquakes by day by their depths uh, at 2 kilometers, magnitude 1 and larger in the past 12 hours. Uh, and as you see, they are the most countless here, uh, east of, uh, of Grindavik Road, which had been already closed. There is a mountain hill here called Silengar Fatl, and we might see the volcanic eruption right here, east of this mountain, where we have those shallow earthquakes. Maybe in this line, maybe we'll have fish stretching this direction, somewhere like this. Uh, because they are always coming in tilted uh, fissures and tilted form along the tectonic faults that runs through Reykjanes Peninsula. So it looks like lava is breaking through here. And uh, perhaps the new observation desk, deck for this new volcano will be this mountain. Silengar Fett, that's where we'll be going to see this. Or maybe the other one here. But it looks like the earthquakes are the most shallow in this area. But we have quite a few shallow earthquakes also here, you know, next to Little Hrut, or you see. Uh, that's go this is the volcano, 23 volcano, you see. Here, close, close to Meradalir, quite many shallow earthquakes there too. So, there are many shallow earthquakes all over in this area now. Two kilometers depth. But let's check 24 hours, uh, because this is 12 hours. Let's the 24 hours shallow earthquakes. Where do we have the most shallow earthquakes in 24 hours? Yeah, in this area, um, east of the Green Devic Road, which had been closed. And also here, uh, like just right north of Green Devic, but not that many, but there might be very long fish, you know. It can, the fish can stretch for 1-2 kilometers, you know. And so here, let's say, um, lo lo it looks like it's going to, to happen somewhere here. Uh, because we early I suspected eruption here where we have the upswelling, but the upswelling is not limited now to this area. It stretches through a much larger area, and it's not necessarily that lava will break there, as was case in 2021 upswell. So it might happen pretty close somewhere uh, where it finds the best way to get out, you know. So. Maybe here, maybe we'll have a fish eruption here and just north, just along the road here, along the highway, uh, just north of Grindavik, then lava will be, will be in the city like in a matter of minutes, causing enormous destruction. Uh, and little can be done if eruption will happen that close to the city. But most likely, it looks like the most earthquakes are here, like in this area. Silengar Fat Mountain is not big mountain, 197 meters. The lagoon is here, uh, slightly uh, to the west. There are no shallow earthquakes in the Blue Lagoon, so I think uh, it's unlikely something to happen there. Most likely here. That's most likely place, I would say. Uh, but you see, they are stretching along the tectonic faults, like from from the north uh, east to the southwest uh, along the line, like it happened at the Little Hrutur by the same uh, angle. It was eruption here, one kilometer, almost one kilometer long fissures. Six uh, winds we had, uh, six six fissures, six separate fissures stretching for almost one kilometer erupting at the same time. Eruptions are ongoing and they are pretty, uh, like every minute, every minute, and they are happening. Swartzanki, 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 black metal, black metal, black metal. Swartzanki means black metal. This is the name of the volcano. Let me show you. 